Welcome to the 2014 season of Hockamock League football with the Warriors of Foxborough High School. Today's matchup is the Division IV South quarterfinal playoff between the Foxborough Warriors and the Wolverines of Westwood High School. Coming to you from the John J. Ahern Field in Foxborough. Bringing you all of today's exciting football action are Doug Seuss and Frank Jafoon. Now, let's join Doug and Frank down on the field for today's pregame commentary. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're here, Doug Seuss, Frank Jafoon, and the Cable crew uh, televising today's MIAA uh, first round playoff game between the uh, Foxborough Warriors and the Westwood uh, Wolverines. Um, a rematch of week one, Frank. Right. Uh, we're. we're uh we're coming off a tough loss last week against Stoughton, and these guys have got hot, gotten hot at the end of their uh, at the end of their regular season. Uh, but if if, it were, if we're to judge the very first game, Doug, that they played, uh, Foxborough annihilated them. Uh, the, the, the quarterback had a very difficult time that night. He had five interceptions. Our defense was superb. I got to tell you something: new team, new game, new time of year. Forget about the first game. This is this is going to be a different game, and then the neutrality of the rain out mm -hmm. here today. And we, we, we were talking about this uh, ad infinitum earlier on. The rain is 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 the uh, is the X factor right here. Uh, we don't know what we're going to see. We could this could turn into a passing game, mm -hmm. um, given the fact that the 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 offense could control the uh, control the field as as the defense is backpedaling. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what we don't know what we're going to face, but uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not going to be the same Westwood team, and actually we're not the same Foxborough team either. We're a stronger team too, so maybe it maybe it would turn into to the same kind of game in terms of score wise, but uh, I doubt it. Yeah, uh, again, the, the whole playoff format, and uh, you know what what playoff division you're in versus what league division you're in, everything else. Foxborough lost out on the Davenport uh, championship last week, which is a small division of the Hawkmock League, and a really good game against Stoughton. Uh, we were able to televise it. Um, Stoughton is a, a, a solid team. They finished undefeated, and, um, you know, they have a, a strong running game. And Foxborough did a pretty good job, but they did have trouble containing the run oh, late in the game. Boy, I guess they did. Uh, and, again, this is something that we, we've gone over many times. Um, they had a, a very, very very strong running game and at the end of the game uh, this kid uh, Gerald Amo who uh, was their big tailback uh, he, for, for lack of a better word because he really is a fullback they have two other tailbacks but uh, he controlled the clock controlled the field controlled the ball controlled his life controlled everything he, mm -hmm. he, he ran like nine times in a row the same play and that's really how he lost the game yeah and if, if Westwood's keen on something like that if they're looking for a chance to maybe improve upon uh, the first game of the year. They watch film, maybe that's what they want to do. Instead of passing, which they had very little success against the Warriors, right. all right, maybe now they say there's the, there's the kink in the armor. We're going we're to run against Foxborough and see if they can stop that. Yeah, it, uh, great point. And I, and I think, uh, you know, as everybody studies the films, and if they looked at that game last week, they could see that there might be a little little kink in our defensive line mm -hmm. that uh, they could run, but I don't know if these guys have the same running back that Stoughton had. Um, so you know, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. But uh, I think I, I look at a look at this to be a a defensive struggle for maybe the first quarter and a right. half till everybody feels each other out. It could be a could be a running game. that could be running between the tackles. The field looks in pretty good shape, Doug. It does. Uh, you know, given the fact we've had. Uh, 15 inches of rain today. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but I, I, I think it should be a pretty good game, a lot better game than the first game. All right. Well, there's just a quick synopsis. We expect a lot out of the Warriors. Um, again, the rain's holding off right now. So we'll be back uh, shortly with uh, live game action. And uh, until then, uh, over and out. So to be number 12, Captain Brendan Callison. Number 52, Captain Chris Eldridge. 
Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're just about to have the uh, coin toss uh, start of the game. The captains will be going out shortly. Uh, Foxborough wearing their solid gold uniforms today uh, with the dark numbers, which Frank and I always appreciate so we can see better. And uh, Westwood uh, wearing uh, their white, turned in the uh, coarse green pants. Um, both both towns have a lot of football tradition, Frank. Oh, Westwood's got a great football tradition. Uh, going back to Eric Wilfinger, if you, I don't know if you remember that name, but uh, he was in the, in the late 70s and 80s. They had some powerhouses. Uh, um, I, I know Eric uh, very well, and, and uh, he, his, he's actually synonymous with Bay. He lives in North Attleboro. He lives, mm -hmm. He's uh, synonymous with baseball, too, because he runs a baseball program. But he had a very, very successful program in Westwood for many years. All right, we'll go down to the coin toss. We'll come back and talk a little bit more about Westwood in a second. Oh. oh, okay, we just found out that there's no mic down on the field, so you guys have to listen to us at home. Um, yeah, Westwood uh, actually used to be on Foxborough's schedule quite often Yep. Um, in the early Martinelli years. Uh, I can recall a game even years ago with the old uh, – Gillette, uh, not the old Gillette Stadium, the old Foxborough Stadium where Foxborough and Westwood played each other. And uh, they were division lower than us at the time. Yep. And often we made uh, playoff runs, and they did too. They had a couple Super Bowl championships. So you're right, Frank. They, they did have some tradition and a lot of solid uh, football players. Um, you know, Pop Warner program for years was very solid as well, a good feeder. Uh, so th th these towns are not... Uh, strangers to one another when it comes to success or meeting on the field. Not at all. And the funny thing about this is, and for the, for the folks who know where Westwood is located, um, uh, I think it's called Clabbered Street, maybe. But anyway, they're right up the street from uh, right up the street from Zavarian. Zavarian. And a lot of the Westwood kids end up going to Zavarian yeah. too. So uh, they lose a lot of football players down the street. Yeah, they do, and uh, we do as well. But yep. certainly, uh, you know, what we keep here, we kind of build on and uh, right now it looks like I, I believe Westwood is going to get the uh, kickoff so uh, we're going to have the national anthem here and then we're going to return uh, for live action at this uh, MIAA playoff game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem performed by the Foxborough Warrior Marching Band. Uh, done job by the Foxborough High School Band. Um, Let me run the referees down. Yeah, quick. go ahead, bud. Okay, uh, referee for tonight's game, Bill Barrar. Uh, Eddie Weber is the uh, umpire. Uh, Jim Parker is the linesman. Jamie Jamie Lindsay is the field judge. And, and Tom Katench, I, 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 I think that. Uh, yeah, we'll work with that. Yeah, he's he's the back judge. So. And we get Al Silva on the clock. There you go. 
All right. Uh, before we get started, uh, Frank and I, wa I want to apologize, too. Last week's game in Stoughton, which we were fortunate enough to be able to uh, broadcast late in the game when Foxborough uh, turned over the ball, we misidentified uh, the young man um, as the person involved, and, and it wasn't. So, Austin Ryan, uh, we owe you an apology. And, uh, you know, we, didn't, we hope we didn't cause any harm by saying it was you, but we really did have a hard time trying to identify numbers. And uh, Kyle Will, as he has been doing, booms one through the back of the end zone. And uh, It's uncanny what this kid can do with a football on yeah, his foot. I'll it really you. is. He, he has a strong leg, as we've said, for a couple games now, and there, there's living proof right there. So Stoughton will start up at their own 20-yard line, uh, first and 10. Not Stoughton. I'm Westwood. sorry, Stoughton. <laughs> ah, Westwood. Thank you for correcting got, me. I'm already getting We got on. Stoughton on, the on, on our minds. Yes, yes, I apologize. Westwood. <laughs> Westwood. Back, back uh, there, number 12 is their quarterback, and that is uh, uh, Brendan Br Patterson. Brendan yep. Patterson, yep. who, as Frank said, had a real tough game uh, at the start of the season. And this time he's going to do a keeper, and he's going to run off tackle, going to pick up a few. It looks like at the bottom of the pile for Foxborough, we had number uh, 68, uh, Sean Smalley, maybe. Oh, it's carried by Westwood's number 12, Brendan Patterson. Like I said earlier, Doug, I'm anxious to see if we can throw the ball or they can throw the ball, and you know, the footing on the, on the defensive backs. You're right. It'd be interesting with the cuts, whether or not they can do it. So a gain of about, about a four-yard, five-yard gain there, so second brings up down second five. down. And again, we're going to see the same play. Patterson's going to break this one up for a first down. Mr. Okay, Seuss and I were talking ball. about this yeah. earlier. Off tackle. Off tackle. Same side as yeah. this kid, uh, Gerald Amo, ran yeah. last week. And uh, this kid, Patterson, has done the same thing twice. Off tackle, off to the right, and he's got a first down. Yeah. I hope that uh, we've got to adjust to this. Yeah, you really do. We didn't last week, unfortunately. So, again, Patterson back. He has a one lone setback with him. That back now shifts to his right side. And... Shotgun snap, it's a long count, and once again, he's going off tackle. Boy, oh boy. And Three this times time, in a row. Yeah, and, and again, you know, if I'm a coach, which, you know, again, I am at a smaller level, I look at what I saw last week in that Stoughton game, say they could not stop that off tackle to the right side. That's exactly right. So we get about, we get two this time, so. And again, you can see him doubling down on the nose tackle. Uh, you know, that, that's... Uh, 79, I believe, is, is Hood for us. But uh, they're double teaming on him, and, and basically it, it, there's a hole there. That's exactly what it is. So we got trips to the near side, and again, we're going to see a shift. Now Patterson goes. We got a motion, I think. Yeah, pa Patterson do. shifted to the uh, back position. And, and he moved. He jumped. he jumped. Yep. Yeah, he jumped. He's not, he's not really uh, – uh, a running back by trade. No, he, he's but, not. Uh, that, and that ball was uh, snapped to the other up back. Yeah, Antonucci, uh, who's the halfback, shifted into the quarterback uh, slot, took the snap. Uh, there's motion. He'll move it back five. So it'll be a second down, 13 to go. Ball on the Westwood 32-yard line. We're coming down on nine minutes remaining in the first quarter. The other factor, Doug, is, is beginning to, um, I'm beginning to see it right in front of me. The trees are blowing pretty hard right now. The wind is supposed to be like 50 miles an hour later in this game. Okay, again, we see trips to the near side. And Same once again, play again, Patterson's going to go off tackle one more time. Get and about, and get Develis, four anyway. Develis is there to bring him down. Brian Develis is having a great year for the Warriors. Yeah, it was nice. I was reading the paper. Uh, Jack said some nice things about Brian. He's had a great year. He really yeah. has. He, he, can, he can close down the line of scrimmage with the best of them. Yeah, he can. He's, he's really developed into a fine defensive end. Puts a lot of pressure on. And, uh, and again, they're running away from him. He made that tackle coming from the offensive side. That's exactly side. right, yeah. So we have a third and long here, about eight yards to go. And now we're going to see Patterson take the snap, and he's going to pass this time, and he does a quick out, and that's – Oh, we missed a tackle. Oh, boy, you, this kid's going to score. Yeah, he is. Holy cow. Fox, Foxborough right there just, we had, had the uh, guy bottled up. That's number 24 for uh, Chris Hanley scores on a. Just a little out. Yeah, just really. A, he, they're only looking for five or six yards. This kid breaks it 60 yeah, yards for 60 a touchdown. 60 yards for a touchdown. And he, he had 
He had only a couple yards, as you said, Frank. It wasn't even going to be a first down. Exactly. It's just, just poor tackling, to be Very honest with you. Very poor tackling on that side. So Westwood continues to attack the left side of the Foxborough defense, which is now starting to look like it's the weak side for sure. And they'll line up for the extra point, doing the kick and chores is Jake Bean. We have a good snap. And we got a good kick. And we have a good kick. And Westwood strikes quickly, 8.06 remaining in the first quarter. Westwood scores on a 64-yard pass play. That shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been, thanks to a few missed tackles. Now let's take a look at this. Patterson, two-step drop, boom, little out. Missed tackle right there. And then bad angles. And, and wasn't touched the rest of the way. Yeah, Tommy Rogers makes a... Uh, an attempt there, but the angles, once once he got down that sideline, Foxborough basically had no chance. So a big blown coverage, blown tackle, let's say, uh, results in a Westwood touchdown. So unlike the first game, Westwood scores. They they were shut out, I believe, in the first game. Now they're on the board. And I think we, I think they got a safety. I think yeah, it was they like, got a safety, yeah. all right. Um, well, they, they've, they've struck first, and, and, and just like you said, Doug, they're, they're going after the left side of our uh, defensive line, left side of our uh, defensive backs. Yeah. Uh, they didn't go one time to their left, not That's one right. time. So he, Bean will do the kicking chores here, and he hits a squib kick up the middle, and that is uh, fielded by Austin Ryan. And Austin's going to fight a hit for a few yards, gets out near the Foxborough 35-yard line. Not bad field position to start. And uh, the Warriors will come out with Nolan Rogers at the quarterback position. Ronnie Martin and Keon Neal are the backs. Brought the ball up to the 35-yard line, first and 10 for the Warriors. Go, go! All right, we're going to see Gilreath and Ryan come to our near side. Martin is the lone back, and he's going to take a handoff, and he's going off tackle to the, his left side. He's good and for five right yeah, there. Yeah, good solid five-yard run by Ronnie Martin. Oh, number 32, he actually is going to get credit for six yards here, so it'll bring up a second and four. 12, Last, Patterson, yeah, let's take two. another look at this one here. This is, a, again, you see uh, Uzanidis. Three, uh, three Booth, yards Booth, of Ronnie Martin. Yep. Booth and Uzanidis. Uh, he also had number 59 for Foxborough in there. I believe that's Stamatos. The center. Yeah, Phil Stamatos, yep. So second and four. And we're going to see Keon Neal this time, and he's going to do a little dance and pick up about three. Hey, about one, yard, one yard short. Neil wearing number 37 today, normally number 25. For those of you following at, at home when you watch this later on. A little misdirection, fake gear to uh, Martin, and then you see Neil try the, uh, the right side of the Foxborough line, picks up three, so he's about a yard and a half shy of the first down. Foxborough has to reach the 45. Now, again, you have both Neil and Martin in the backfield. And we're going to see Neil. And he's got a first down and a, first. a couple more yards. So Foxborough, on their initial drive of the game, picks up a first down on three plays. He had a lot of difficulty. Well, we're going to take a look. He had, Keon Neal had a lot of difficulty last week in the rain. In the, or not the rain, but the, the muddy field. They yeah, had the, a lot of rain. Yeah, the footing was not very great. Stones field was kind of chewed up. So Foxborough out on their own 47-yard line, and now we're going to see a toss, uh -oh. and Martin fumbles the, the handoff. He's down just automatically once he goes to his knees to recover that. So a little, little miscommunication on that toss there. That might be a weather fumble too, Doug. A little slip, a little slip. Now, now yeah. he's looking ahead. He didn't look yeah. at the ball. Yeah. So Foxborough loses three on the play. Second and 14, ball back on their own 44. We're coming down to six minutes remaining in the first quarter. Westwood seven, Foxborough nothing. And now we see Neil in the upper slot. And here comes Ryan on that jet sweep. You see uh, D'Antona pulling. And Westwood does a really good job of stringing that out. Nice play by number 22, uh, uh, Kevin Hessian. He came up and slowed him down. Yeah, he did. We, Foxborough gains really nothing on the play. Albert Quinn, number 22, Kevin Hessian. Yeah, really nice job there by Westwood. They have more than uh, just Hessian out there. They have two or three other guys. Well, here you go. Here's your first pass, Dougie. That third and 12. Yeah. 
And, and Westwood basically rushing three guys. Now they bring a fourth up now. Their linebackers are five yards off the line, and we're going to see Rogers. He's going down and sideline deep, and he's got Bosniak. Bosniak, and he for caught first it. down. Yep, he did. I think from what I've seen in the last couple of games, Frank, Rogers is thrown real well to his left. I mean, last week yep. he threw the touchdown pass to Neal. This here, this ball is right on the money to Buzniak. This is just a, a straight fly pattern down the sidelines. And Buzniak turns around, makes a good grab, but we saw Buzniak with a great touchdown catch a few weeks ago. Yep. To the left, we saw Neal last week, and now we see this one. So first down, ball in a 29 of Westwood. And once again, Martin's gonna take a handoff. He breaks one tackle, but not again. And brought down number 54, Russell Verzino. Yep. Brought down by number 24, Chris. Well, we got four minutes and 40 seconds left in the first period. Let's take another look at this. It looks like Ronnie's going to have something going here as he breaks his first down. That's Patterson, the quarterback. Yep. And real nice job. 24 also in there for Westwood. Chris Hanley. Yeah. He's a touchdown maker. Yep. So Ronnie with a short gain of about two yards. And again, he's the lone back. We have Neil in the near slot. We're going to see another pass. And this one's underneath, and there's nothing there. It's incomplete. Even, even if, um, I think that's Austin Ryan, even if he comes down with that, Frank, he's gaining yeah, nothing. There, there isn't much to it. But, but here we go. It's just going to run a little stop pattern, but that ball was, you know, is deflected away. But it was, even if he catches it, Again, there is almost like no net gain out of that. So third and long for the Warriors. They're on the 28 of Westwood. Uh, maybe screen pass here. Westwood's showing a little bit of a blitz. There's and a pitch to Martin. And nice. He, oh, really nice, nice play out here. Tackle. Yeah. That number 22 again, Hessian. Kevin Hessian. He's made two very, very nice plays at Hessian kid. Kevin Hessian. Foxborough, you can see right there, their line, Booth tried to cut block. Nice tackle, very nice tackle. Yeah. Right in his thighs. I, you know, I, I, just, I saw a couple of Foxborough linemen trying to cut block. When I, when I see kids that are that big trying to cut block, I, I just. Blow them out. Blow them, pancake them. You know, move, use your body. You going down, neutralize it. The linemen right there didn't really. They, they, they weren't held up, and, and Hessian made a really good play. So we get fourth and long. Two to the left, two to the right from the shotgun. And we're going deep down the middle. Looks Gilreath. Gilreath can't get there. Nobody home. Really good. He, Gilreath was trying to make his move to the inside, but very well covered. Yeah, he was. Again, Hanley on great coverage. So Foxborough turns the ball over on downs. Westwood will. Now take over at their own 28-yard line, first and 10. 321 remaining in the first quarter. Well, let's see if the theory uh, is the same this time. Yeah. We'll see if they go to the right to see if they can stop them there. And Wes? Let's take a look at the coverage. Two of them right there. Yeah. Passes a little out to the yeah, left anyway. Yeah, it's too far inside. So Westwood comes right out. They're not even in the huddle. And we're going to see twins to the near side, the Foxborough sideline, and again, Patterson's in the backfield. His, his uh, running back moves up next to his left now. We're going to see some motion. And this is going to be the first chance to the opposite side of the field. And nothing there. Mark Wilson, Liam Whiting on the tackle. Hanley on that one there. That, so they try to mix it up this time. Coming to Foxborough's right side. Let's take a look. I, I think David Henry comes up on this pretty well, too. Dave Henry is the first guy. Yep, Dave will get partial credit for that tackle. Good job there. So they gain one. It's second and nine. They're now on the near side wow. of the field. Got, yep. short, short sideline here on the on the on the this side. So they got a lot of room on that right, our left. And again, you got a direct snap back to the halfback here. That's number 27, uh, Bob, Rob Antonucci on the carry. Picks up about five. So second, third down now and about four. Westwood has to get to their 38 and a half yard line. And again, Foxborough shifting now on defense. And they're gonna get us, I think. Yeah, they will. I think we're off sides, Doug, yeah. And it's almost caught by Westwood too. 
Nice play by Bosniak right in involved in that. Yeah, Foxborough jumped on that one. A good hard count by Patterson. Yeah, I think he's going to get a free first down for uh, Westwood. I think our defensive left tackle jumped on that. Is that Hood? There Two guys. Yep. That's the big one. Yeah. Fisher. The hood, uh, 79 Hood. 79 you know, hood. again, the ball's right in front of you. You know, you, you can't be listening to the count. You got to look at the ball. That's exactly right. You know, no excuse for a nose tackle to jump off. All you, have to do is, all you have to do is turn your head 45 degrees. That's it. Yeah. Look at the ball. All first, right. first down, two first. minutes and four seconds left in the period. Patterson with the ball. And they're going to try that. Is that yeah, Antonucci? Nothing, yeah, nothing with Antonucci on that one. So Foxborough, Foxborough slides over very well to make this stop. And Uzanidis, who's Uzanidis playing on defense, which we, he hasn't played a lot on defense this year. That's so right. Foxborough making some changes. I also see that uh, George has checked in there, number 99, uh, Austin George. He's now the nose tackle. And Foxborough is showing, uh, nope, they back off the linebackers now. We're back in a normal position. We're going to see a pass by Patterson. Screen, screen. pass. Screen. And this is going to work for a first down. Oh, and boy. Then more. Oh, boy. Is that Hanley again? No. Nope. No. Nope. 28, 28 this time. 28. That's Danny Cook. Middle screen set up very well by the Wolverines. And a big gain. Oh, it's kind of West Hood's number 28. Nice Danny throw Cook. by Patterson. Nice cut right here to the outside. Yeah, right he, here. He, he, Good vision by him, and he, he just weaves his way through. Jake Pond finally brings him down, but not until he's inside the Foxborough 30 yards. Again, threatening the score. Empty backfield other than Patterson. He's got twins to the right and, and trips, trips to, to the, the left. left. I think we're throwing the ball. Yeah. Unless he's unless he's going to run again. And this guy, a little pump out. Boy, oh, he, he's, oh, boy. He left him out to dry, sure didn't he? Sure did. I, Mr. Hanley. Is, is, is very fortunate that he didn't take a pop right to his midsection right yeah, he's, he's lucky to have some ribs left. Yeah, this is a very high throw. By, Patterson didn't have a good handle on the ball, and Jake Pond comes up, makes the tackle for about a two-yard gain, but uh, Hanley was hung out to dry on that. So clock is coming down under 20 seconds now. I think... I was going to say, I Second thought they are going to just let it run out, but I guess not. 12 seconds left. And we got a Whoa, nice play. Oh, no, Antonucci. Again, we get a flag. Uh, We're going to get a hold, maybe, which is going to help Fox, bro. But the tackling right now is not very good by the Warriors. Yeah, we're not. I don't know if it's the if it's the rain or the cold or whatever, but uh, we're not uh, We're not ramping up. That's no, we're not. Sure. Antonucci should have been stopped in the backfield there, and he broke a tackle and uh, was on his way to a decent uh, gain until a flag came in and negates it. And uh, Westwood's going to get moved back for holding, and that's going to close the quarter out as they'll move back to their uh, Warrior 38-yard uh, line. So that's the end of one. And Westwood with a 7-0 lead on an opening drive, long pass. So far, I don't like what I'm seeing. No, no. And, and you know, I got to be honest, uh, when I talked to some of the players during uh, the week, when I ran into a couple of them and uh, they knew they had Westwood, uh, the first thing I cautioned them about is, you know, you never see the same team twice. And uh, a lot of them say, yeah, we know that. And uh, opening game jitters, uh, whatever happened week one, it, it's in the books. but. That team has come on and won five out of six games since yeah, then. Yeah, they, they, and they, their whole deal right now is momentum, Dougie. Yeah. They've got momentum, and we don't. We got stopped last week. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, we got we to gotta adjust. I think uh, Jack uh, did some adjusting, putting Ozanitas in there at defensive yeah. left tackle. That probably was a good move. I, he, yeah. he seems to be coming off the ball a little quicker. Yeah. I, I, I think if, to that point, Frank, uh, quickness is really more of an attribute right now. You put your bigs in there, and uh, we've already seen a double team on, on them. And, uh, yep. you know, and again, taking nothing away from some of these kids, the foot speed, you want somebody that's going to be able to react. Laterally. Laterally, correct. So Uzanidis is still in there with George and uh, Devell stills in a three down lineman. All right, we have a second and long situation. And we, again, we have uh, two backs in the backfield with Patterson. One of them's uh, 
and Tanucci, and it's a play action fake. And we're going deep down the middle, and this should be picked off. Oh, they almost caught for a touchdown though. Foxborough really kind of lacks a day to go get into that ball. That kid handling's pretty quick, I'll tell you. Yeah. Or is it, no, that's not that's not handling. Hand, hand, yeah, it hand is. It is handling. Handling. He snuck in behind yeah, Tommy he, Rogers he, he right there. He absolutely did. He 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 made a he made a uh, a very quick move at the end of this. This ball's like hung up there, and, and and now you can see from that angle, from our perspective, we didn't see it, but Hanley was behind our secondary. Yeah, exactly. So here we are, third and 20, ball on the Foxborough 38 yard line. Drew Adams is the uh, lone back behind Patterson as he's got two receivers to his left and one to his right. Now Adams slides up and we're gonna see a quick out. That ball should be picked, oh. deflected. Went through the hands of the intended receiver and then through the hands of uh, Buzniak. Of Buzniak yeah. So, as the rain starts to come again, we're going to see this ball just slide. That's Antonucci, 27, was the intended receiver. And Westwood looks like they're going to line up the punt and try and pin Foxborough deep. Being the kicker is also the punter. He's back. That's actually a pretty good move, but this is also a, a place on the field right now where you could fake one. Yeah, that's true, Frank. Foxborough's got to play it honest. High snap, and we're going to get a straight up kick, and if, that's going to be a great kick. Oh this ball is going to be inside the five yard line. Yeah, that's at the four yard line. Great, a great kick. So Westwood playing the percentages, goes with the kick, and it works out for him. At a 34 yard punt, puts Foxborough down deep inside their own 10 yard line at the four, and uh, they're going to have to work their way out of it. Now's not the time to. Uh, it's sloppy, that's for sure. You don't want to give Westfield the ball right back in very good field position. I think this is the area where you got to pound your way out of here. Absolutely. And we're going to see Martin exactly do that up the middle, and he gets about four yards, slides out just past the uh, seven to maybe to the eight yard line. Tackle by number three, Drew Adams. Drew Adams on the tackle for Westwood. Let's take a look at Ronnie Martin come through right here. Lineman down low, I like to see that. Yep. Second down and six. So a little more breathing room here, so we have a second and six. And again, Martin is the lone back, and again, Martin's gonna take this ball up the middle. And he bounces off a couple guys, and he's gonna be out near the marker, but still shy. Bring up a third down situation for Foxborough. I give it to him again. Yeah. Let's take a look at Ronnie. If, if, if you want two yards, he's the kid I'm giving it to. Got a nice tight grip on that ball, too. You had a couple Westwood guys trying to reach in there. Ronnie has a real good grip on that, which is really, really important right now. So now we see Neil and Martin in the backfield. And we're going to see Neil take a toss. He's got blockers out in front of him. And he's got and a first down. First down. He's one block away from breaking that. Yeah, he was. Number 53, we don't have a 53 on the roster, but he made the tackle, and Key O'Neill does a real nice job here, and boom, one guy right there, 53, makes the tackle. And we, sorry we don't have his number on the roster, but uh, Foxville picked up a first down, they're now at their 21-yard line. And once again, we got Neal, and he's gonna take it to the opposite side. Great cut block, but nice a real nice tackle. Number 22 again, who's that, Hessian? That, that, yeah, Hessian and 18, also Elbert, yep. Quinn Elbert was in there. They've got some pretty good tacklers on this, on this well, Westwood yeah, team, they, I'll and tell they, you. And they're we, a lot better this game than they were the first game. We actually lose a yard on the play. Yep. That, that looked like it was going to develop into something, and then Westwood just snuffed it out. I like this kid, Hessian. I, li I like the kid, Hanley. They got some uh, nice quickness to him. So second and 11, 844, second quarter. Westwood 7, Foxborough 0. And now we're gonna see Martin again. And Martin again. He got nothing. Really, Westwood just snuffing that out. Nice play, 54. Yep, carry. that's Verzino. Verzino again. So Martin loses a couple. Yep, number three also is in there as Adams. So as the rain is, is starting to spit a little bit heavier now, Foxborough is now facing a third and 13. 
Ball on their own 18 yard line. Eight Six. minutes left in the first half. Seven nothing Westwood. We got a third and 13 like you said, Dougie. This is a, this is a tough call. We're gonna have yeah. to, I think I gotta put it up. They, tough they tough have, place have, to put it yeah, up. It's not four down territory, so. And we're gonna see a little play action pass. Oh. And we got a wide open Austin Ryan here, but this ball is overthrown yeah. in the middle. Rogers never Boy, saw Austin Ryan, Ryan. Ryan had this kid beat. Hey, he had a Hanley beat by three yards. Yeah, he did. He ran a wheel route on, on the Foxborough sideline and yep. was behind the Westwood secondary, but Rogers never saw him. And uh, his pass down the middle is overthrown. Yeah, let's take a peek at this. This yeah. is that. This, this is a jump the, ball. Yeah, he threw it to the wrong kid. But he sees what he sees. Yeah. So uh, Pat McCarthy will be the punter for Foxborough. He's inside his five yard line. A lot and of pressure on this kick, Doug. Yep. And Hessian is the deep back. Mack hits a good kick. It's a knuckleball. It's going to get a little bit of a roll here, which is good. There's going to be no return. They're at the 42 yard line. Yeah, they are. It was Antonucci, actually, was the back uh, return guy there for Westwood. So uh, good field position. Yeah, really good. Good kick by uh, McCarthy. For, uh, it basically nets to a 40 yard punt for him. Westwood will take over on their third series now. Just just over their own 40 at the 42, 7.33 remaining in the first half. Again, Patterson is the quarterback. Long count. And we're going to see it. Whoa! That was, he ran into Hood. He ran into Hood, all right. Who ran into, who ran into number 51 in the ball wow. carrier? An Antonucci. It's like he ran into a building, pretty much. I mean, Robert Hood's a big boy. Wow. Number seven, yeah, he, he, <laughs> it looked like he buried the guard. Or, uh, nice play by Robert Hood. Very nice. Yeah, he, he basically drove the Westwood blocker back into, into Antonucci. So no gain. And now we're going to see Patterson on a rollout. And well covered by Fox. Well, short gain. Michael Leonard, the uh, receiver, picks up about four yards on this. On the start, number four. Take a look at just a quick out. Yep, that's uh, Buckner on the tackle for the Warriors. So we have a third and six. Again, Westwood with a long count. And we're going to see another rollout by Patterson. Yeah, and that's Hanley, I think, and yeah, that's a first he's down. He's got a first down. He got just enough yardage. Number 24, Chris Hanley. He's my guy. He's the guy Chris I'm going to throw to. Good, good football player, number 24, Chris Hanley. He does just enough here, too. He, he yep. basically knows where the first down marker is, and that's where he gets to. So Westwood picks up a first. They're now in Foxville territory at the Warrior 46-yard line. And Patterson again, he's, he's going to quick out. This is overthrown. Antonucci like. intended receiver over there, just overthrow him in the flat. I do not like that play. Yeah, it's dangerous. It could be picked very easily. You got to make sure that the kid is also in front of you, too. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that true. I forget about that part of it, Frank. You're yeah. right, versus being a lateral. So second down, stops the clock. Again, Westwood not huddling there. Like you see a lot in college football nowadays, they're all lining up, turning to the sideline, looking for the uh, signals coming in. Antonucci, the lone back, he now moves up to the left of Patterson. And he's going to take an inside handoff. And he's going to, once again, try Foxborough's left side defense. And he gets... He ran, ran into Liam Whiting, that's yeah, what, what he did. A couple short yards there. Three to be exact, let's say. So we have a third and seven. Let's take a look at number 52, Liam Whiting. He cuts it yeah, out, Whiting's right there. Nice job, Whiting fills the hole right there. Well, we got about five minutes and 45 seconds left in the half. We got a third and seven. Oh, we jumped again. I think Hood jumped again. And we got a deep ball in the middle of the field. Oh, it's gonna be overthrown. Boy. Do I see any laundry on the field though? I don't. You gotta get some air under that ball. He threw a line drive and it would have been tough to catch. Well, not, not catch, but tough to catch up with. 
Strong arm, though. Yeah, he's got a strong arm, right? I mean, that ball had some zip on it. So yep. now it looks like Westwood once again will punt. Even though they're in Foxborough territory, I like again, I like the fact that they're playing the percentages and trying to pin Foxborough down. Bean will once again be the punter for Westwood. And Antonucci's the up back, so you're always in a situation you're going to be careful of that fake punt. Foxborough's got like 10 guys up. That's too lousy. I tell you, I, I, those snaps. snaps. Yeah, yeah. Get under it. We see Buzniak call for a fair catch, and he takes it at about the 20-yard line. So Foxborough doesn't have that bad a field position, unlike the previous possession. 527, you can see there on the clock. Uh, they have time to work. They got all five of their timeouts, so that's not a factor right now. It's just a matter of getting momentum. Just a lot of time. We got a lot of time left here. Holes on the Warriors, 20-yard line, first and 10 for Foxborough. Yeah, this is the second high snap. It's getting very dangerous. Yeah. Martin alone back, and Martin takes the handoff, and he's going to bounce it outside for just a couple. Westwood doing a really good job, Frank. Another, a, a another very, run. Yeah, no, that was number 21 and 64. Let's get up and see if I get a number on 21 here. That was That's a nice uh, Kritzer, play. Jake Kritzer, yep. and uh, Connor McCall. Jake Kritzer. You see, it was need his pull right there, but yep. the, the fact is, is their, their corners are closing fast and their short tacklers are what it shows right now. Well, I think we got to put the ball up, Dougie. Westwood, uh, five guys up now. We're going to see the toss play to Neil. He's got a couple blockers in front of him, but once again, Westwood does a really good job number, snuffing number, this out. Number 53. Which we don't have him. It's oh, that yeah, second we, time he's made he's made yep. two nice tackles and we don't have a name for the young man. The ghost. Martin makes a block there, but again you see 53. It's twice that young man has made plays uh, when it looked like Foxborough had something developing. Uh, Neil does gain a couple, but not what we needed. So it's third and six, ball on the Foxborough 25 yard line. Third and five it actually should be. And a draw play to Neil. And I think he's got it. He just does have it. Yep, they're signaling he's got a first down. The little surge at the very end helped a lot. First down to the Tackle by number 52. A draw play. Stamatos does a nice job on a, on a trap block in the middle there. So 355 and counting. We got a we got a word on that young man number 53. His name is Brendan Delaney. He okay. uh, he's changed from 44. Okay. So Rogers got back to pass, and again he's gonna scramble. And he's gonna take a hit. Boy, he stopped. Yeah, he did. Woo. That's the worst thing you can do. Oh, wow. Slide. Could, if you're could, gonna do that slide. Yeah, slide. You could have got hurt there. Especially when he turns in his throwing shoulder. Oh. Let's take a look at Nolan Rogers. Good Rogers'd coverage show. here. Rogers does the smart thing by not forcing a throw, but then he doesn't do a smart thing. It's very stop that oh, run. You got to slide, yeah. go down. All right, that's his thrown shoulder that he's leading with, and uh, you certainly don't want to take a hit on that. So he gains nothing, and it brings up second and ten. Three minutes remaining in the half, and Foxwell is going to spread it out a little bit wide. Neil goes up into the slot, and we're going to see Martin on a handoff once again. Gets a good block by Uzanidis. Nice tackle. But once again, the tackling of Westwood is just phenomenal. Just very, absolutely. They're either very well coached or they've got some terrific athletes over there. there. Yeah. Elridge, 52. Or maybe it's a combination of both. A combination of both. <laughs> and certainly they've made adjustments since that first week. Yeah, they have. They have. Two so and a half minutes left in the half. We gained, we gained three on the play. So it'll be a long third and seven. Ball just shy of the Foxborough 35 yard line. Mike Bordieri is spending some good time with Nolan Rogers there on the sideline. I got a feeling this is going up. You got Ryan? Yep, that's right. Ryan. Ryan's to time the out. Left. Yeah. Yep. yep. We were taking a lot of time getting that thing moving here, too. Westwood, Westwood wanted to take a timeout on that one, I think. Yep, yes, Westwood did. did. Yep. Makes it. Yep. All right, uh, for you folks uh, watching this game, the rights fee for this cable cast has been waived by the MIAA on behalf of the students of Foxborough High School. The MIAA represents 373 senior high schools across the Commonwealth. 
in the 200,000 young men and women who participate annually in MIAA Governed Athletic Competition. Any rebroadcast or republication of this program without the written consent of the MIAA is prohibited. You're welcome. All right, we've got two minutes and 16 seconds left in the half. Westwood's up seven to nothing, and we've got a third and seven. And you can see the winds picking up, as you mentioned earlier, Frank, yeah. because uh, not only the trees are blowing over there, but the rain is starting to come in at an angle. And we have to throw into we it. We have to throw into it. So we got Buzniak, Neal to uh, the near side, which is the Foxville sideline. Martin, again, is the long back. Looks like Gilreath and Austin Ryan to the far side, and we are passing. And right here, you go. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, this is picked off. Oh boy, I tell you, Buzniak was wide open here, and Rogers just under the it. yeah. Well, he was he was throwing a Neal into coverage, but if if we see on a replay, you're going to see that you should see that uh, Buz, Buzniak's wide open. This is. It, Right here, this ball's thrown up for grabs, and uh, it, it is, is well shy of, of Keon Neal. But Buzniak was sitting, set up about 15 yards downfield, make a big defensive stand. And we're going to see Patterson roll to his left, and he throws a high pass to Antonucci that could have been picked off off his fingertips. The young man who made that play, his name is Devontae Higginbottom. We want to give him credit. Yeah, the interception. For the interception. I don't like the way he throws to his left. Nah. I got to remember now, uh, in the back of his mind is the fact that he threw five interceptions against. Yeah. He, he threw, yeah, let's, oh, here's the one. Yeah. You can see right just before when that ball is going over, you can see there's a 10 yard cushion with Buzniak and the defensive backs. Well, it's all behind us now. We have to make a play and now we got motion and we're going to have a little swing pass out to that side. Fox, he's, he's, down. Down. he's down, he's lost his footing. That's Antonucci, and uh, Foxborough may want to call a timeout here, which they do. We're going to have about a 10-yard loss here. You're going to see the fake jet here, and then this is that's, that's a lateral, I think. That's, that's going to be real darn close, Frank. Absolute lateral. If he doesn't catch that ball, I think it's live. Uh, fortunately for the Warriors, who were in pretty good position to stop that, Antonucci loses his footing, goes down and loses 10 yards on the play. We got about we've got about third and twenty three here I think. So Foxborough in, in decent shape here to make a stop. They have a pocket full of timeouts left. One forty eight to go, and Antonucci is back there, and we're probably going to see the pass. He's going to no, yep, he's he's going deep. Oh, this has got to be kicked off. This oh, ball boy. is just up. He took a little bit of a hit, but I think it's just a wet ball more than anything else, Frank, as he yeah. threw a knuckler up there. Yeah, that was an awful pass. You'll see. He just uh, turned he, his wrist as he threw it, this it, ball. The pump there. Yeah. It, there's nobody around that. He was, he, again, he was looking for Hanley, but he, his radar was a little bit off. And Bean will be back to kick. And let's see if what we get for a snap this time. Another high snap. Oh, that ball's loose. That's a bad one. Oh, oh yes. Pond and Henry smother him. Just a matter of time. Just That's the third one. And that one got through Bean's hands. So the Warriors with a big, big stop and, and turnover on downs on a bad snap on the punt. No, that's the third time. He should have caught that ball, I think. He, was he, you know what? He may have jumped a little bit too soon. Yeah. Henry almost annihilated him. So Foxborough takes over on the 27 of Westwood. And we got a timeout. Westwood, I believe, wants to get, get themselves set up here. So Foxborough somehow manages to get the ball back just before the half in the best field position of the afternoon. Yes. You're right. Yeah. A lot of pressure on uh, snappers. People take it for granted. Oh, especially in a day like this. Yeah. I'm going to take it the Wolverines. You, you can have a whole bag full of balls over there, but they're all going to get wet eventually. And uh, and that young man, he, he already had a couple high snaps in that one. 
You know, Foxborough gets a huge break. Well, it looked like it was just a matter of time before that happened. Mm. Well, we'll see what happens now. One minute and 36 seconds left in the half. And I believe we still have four timeouts left. Because that one was on Westwood. Yep. I, I, I haven't, we haven't seen Gilreath in the action yet here. Yeah, and he's matched no. up against a, a smaller opponent. And Rogers, we're going to Buzzy. He's got Buzz and Buzzy oh, slips this time, slipped. and that was what was open on the last play when he got picked off. But right. this time, his footing kicked Best out from underneath of him. All right, Rogers getting the call from Coach Madiri. Clock stops on an incomplete pass, so we're at 132 remaining in the half. Second and ten. They got all these timeouts done. Yeah, I wouldn't be adverse to a draw here. Yeah, not a bad call. You're right. Westwood certainly uh, expecting pass, Frank. And now we're going to see Austin Ryan on the jet. And there is Ronnie Martin on a little bit of a delay. But look at that. Patterson, the quarterback, is amongst a handful of tacklers. Delaney, 53, is in there. Young man's having himself a ball game. And Martin gains really nothing. And it, this this defense has really really picked it up. Again, you see, we're trying to cut block. Gilreath actually, I'm not even sure he could cut block from the end position. But yeah. You, you got to nail some of these guys. But it wasn't just him. It's just the middle of that defense of Westwood is just smothering right now. Yep. Well, you know we're passing here. We have yet to see a screen. Timeout by the Warriors. And could be a good opportunity here. Westwood has uh, really risen to the occasion. Um, coming into this contest, uh, riding a fairly good season, uh, winning five out of the last six, as we mentioned earlier. And certainly, um, you know, nothing to lose. People are probably expecting a replay of game one, so, you know, they don't have anything to prove that, you know, hey, other than just play their game. That's that's the other thing. I mean, there's a lot of teams playing each other twice yeah. in, in, in these playoff games. We're going to see Neil in motion, and he's going to take the handoff, and he's going to turn the corner, and he's, he's got gone. daylight. Wow. He's gone. He found just enough of a crease there. So we see, he was we see this. Like he was, he was yeah. waiting just for a little bit. We'll see little that replay. Bit. I know he got a good block from Ronnie Martin. I'm curious to who else set him up there, but just enough room for yeah, him. Yeah, just enough. You're right. And then when he saw the opening, boy, he was gone. Good for him. Good for him. Foxborough certainly needed that. And now Kyle Will will attempt the extra point. These are all crucial now, especially in this bad weather. Kyle Will making the attempt to the extra point. Buzniak to hold her. And yeah. Will drills that. So we're tied up. 114 remaining in the first half. Huge, huge play right here. Ronnie Martin's right there. He's got a block. Gilbert's and, making a block. Oh, Austin Ryan. Austin Ryan clipped. Yeah. clipped. <laughs> yeah. He got away with it. Got away with it. So it's only a clip if you get caught, I guess. That's but it. That's it. Nice block right Gilreath there. Gilreath on it. Yeah, Gilreath, sealing yeah. it right there. Yeah. Yeah. We did. We got away with a little push <laughs> from the back. Boy, the referee was right in front of him, ah. too. That's okay. He's a good boy. Go, yeah. So we're 7-7. Seven, seven. So Foxborough gets a little life here. And Will will be teeing it up. And uh, again, his first kickoff went through the end zone. He'll be kicking into a little bit of a win this time. But his leg is strong. And Westwood certainly respecting it as uh, they are deep. I believe it's Antonucci's the deep back. Well, he's the best kicker I've seen all year, Doug. Yep. Higginbottom is one of the other deep backs. And we're going to get a knuckleball. And Antonucci's going to have to come up for this. He's got a little bit of running room. He's got a lot of running room. Boy, he made a nice run out. He got it to his own 39 yard line. Yeah. Help. Coverage has got to be a little bit better. It's got to tighten that up. We got a flag down too. Fox probably may have been off sides on the kick. So I'm not sure if that, uh, under a new rule, that adds five to it. 
They can have First a re-kick, or maybe I think they get an option of adding five to the uh, end of the play. On the 39-yard line. And that's what they're going to do. Yeah, they're going to move it up. Let's go, D. So you can you know, missing, missing again, not making good wraps on, on the tackles. So Patterson back with 108. And he's going to keep it. And he's going to try the left side this time. And he's going to get six. Yeah, Wilson and uh, Develos. But he's up against the clock. They have a couple timeouts left. He gets five. And Foxborough is going to come with a blitz now. And once again, Patterson's going to keep it. He gets a couple. And we're coming down to 40 seconds, and it's going to be 42.7, actually, as Westwood calls a timeout. We're down to number 79, Robert Hood. Right here, right here. It's against Westwood. Timeout by the Wolverines. So they got motion? Oh, it's just inside the 50. I think they called a timeout on that one, partner. I want a flag. <laughs> I want a turnover. Right, here we go. Third and four. Again, Westwood Third trying to spread the Foxborough defense. Cook is the lone back with Patterson. He now slides up to his left. And we're going to see a pass. It's going to be a quick, oh, boy. That's Hanley, right? That's Hanley. Nice but play. I, I got to tell you, Buck, Buckner was reading that. Chris Hanley. Woo. Boy, they had a kid open in the middle of the field. Westwood had a kid right there, dead center in the middle of the field, wide open. So Foxborough's trying to shift to get in position in a hurry here. And Patterson's going to roll to his left. And he's he's behind the line. He can still throw this ball. He gets off a lousy throw. He never got his shoulder square to make no. that. The good thing is he stopped the clock. Yes. For them. For them. Yeah. Foxborough did a really good job of stringing that out. Because he never crossed the line of scrimmage, he was still able to get a pass off. Westwood will send three receivers to the our near side. Antonucci drops back into the backfield. And we gotta, he's going to move up now. And here we're going to go. Patterson's going to throw this ball. And he overthrows. His intended receiver there was uh, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, it looked, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. He looked like he did the same thing again, twisted his wrist. Buzniak on the coverage for Foxborough. So we'll have a third and 10. 20 seconds left in the, in the uh, half here. In on the coverage, number three, Belaz Buzniak. Third down and 10. All right, Westwood again, no huddle, doing some shifting. Patterson, Antonucci in the backfield. They got twins to the far side, the Westwood sideline. And we're gonna see a little play action pass. And we got an open receiver, number 10 catches the ball. He only picks up five yards before he's brought down. Is that a timeout right away, 12 seconds left. Jake Pond on the tackle. Ryan McDonald was the uh, on reception number the, recept ten, Ryan McDonald. Uh, the receiver who pulled that down, down by and he pays the price as he was extended. Pawn puts a shoulder into his rib cage. I tell you what, we're not doing. We're not getting a pass rush. Yeah, uh, everybody seems to be standing up. If you take a look at them, Doug. Yeah, and uh, which really leads me to believe that uh, they're going to start blitzing some linebackers. Yeah. Well, normally we've seen a lot of Develos during the course of the year where he's in there. Yep. from his DN position, and, uh, and again, even even with uh, Whiting and a few others, like you said, when they've blitzed him, he had good success during sure. the course of the season. Now well, we got a fourth and five. 12 seconds remaining. Westwood may have one timeout left. Again, Foxborough's playing a little bit deep. They, Drop their safeties inside the 20-yard line, not wanting to give up the big play. And we're going to see Patterson again roll to his left. And 
Oh, he, he, threw, he threw it behind Hanley. Yeah, Foxborough's going to get the ball back with seven seconds, see if they can make something happen here. But Hanley was well ahead of that throw right there. Yeah, he was too. If he gets that in the other side of him, they, they could have had six points. Yeah. Well, the one thing's for obvious, Patterson throws better to his strong to his, side. To his right, yeah. yeah. To his right. And Westwood's going to do a very similar situation. They're going to drop a couple safeties back around midfield. And Foxborough will have a kneel down from Rogers and be happy with a 7-7 tie. Go to the locker room, recoup, and come out and get the second half kickoff. So an interesting first half, Frank. Yeah, it, it, it was an interesting. That, that's the word for it, interesting, because it wasn't a really good one. Yeah. Um, you know, Westwood Westwood showed me something. They've uh, they they played some very uh, very good defense here in this first half. But yeah. uh, hey, Foxborough made a big play on the on the. Uh, on the block punt, yep. and uh, here we go. We got it. We're back in the game. Yeah, neither team has really moved the ball. Do you think nope. of what Westwood scores on a long pass play? And other than that, they, they've uh, struggled a little bit. And Foxborough certainly hasn't put anything together, sustained. And, and again, short field, they were able to pick up the uh, touchdown run on a, a third and long situation. So uh, neither team is. Uh, really dominate offensively, no. but defense, uh, Westwood, I would say, has a slight upper hand just the way they're playing. Yep. All right, so the band's going to take the field. Uh, looks like the rain may have uh, slowed down a little bit here. It's a slight mist, and uh, we'll be back in about 15 minutes, I think. Can you open the door? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the 2014 Foxborough High School Marching Band. The band is led on the field by senior drum majors Aaron Hussey and Brittany Anderson. This year's halftime show is entitled The Call of the Mountain and features four musical selections by a great contemporary American composer named Joseph Curiali. Song titles include Call of the Mountain, Adelina de Maya, featuring the percussion section, River of Tears, and Jelly. Please welcome the Foxborough High School Marching Band.
All right, uh, everybody at home, uh, welcome back for the second half of the first round MIAA playoff game between Foxborough and Westwood. Uh, we are all even at seven, Frank, and uh, as we said just before we went to the break, it was an interesting first half. Yeah, it, it, interesting is the word. Um, not much to show on offense for either team. It could have something to do with the fact that uh, the weather is as bad as it is. Um, or it could be that uh, the defenses are playing as well as they're playing. Um, I'm very impressed with Westwood uh, making, a, uh, making a complete reversal from the first time we saw these guys. I saw them in early September over in Westwood, and this is a completely different team. They're very athletic. They have some yeah. very athletic kids that have uh, done a nice job in the first half. Yeah, and I, I think uh, maybe, and I didn't see that first game, but as you uh, had alluded to, Patterson had five interceptions in that game, and certainly – when you do that, it kills your offense. But Foxborough may have been set up in really good field position throughout that contest. Yep. Whereas today, they haven't had great field position a couple times. They were Once they were inside their 10, the other side time at the 20. So, uh, you know, without the turnovers, Foxborough's had to work. Yeah, they're very, very hard. Very hard, too. Yeah. So, anyway, we're, we're tied up at 7 here. And uh, the winner gets... Uh, the number one seed in this division, and that would be Holliston up in Holliston next weekend. So uh, Holliston obviously is a very good football team. They're undefeated. Very, very talented players. And um, we've got some talented players too. So hopefully if we win this half, uh, we go up there and uh, we'll see a lot of talent. All right. Well, Bean will be doing the kicking for Westwood as they will be kicking from the scoreboard side of the field. Back for Foxborough deep is Keon Neal. And we're going to see a squib kick that Austin Ryan's going to feel like a shortstop, does very well. And he spins ahead for about four, five, six yards. Gets out to like the 38-yard line of Foxborough and not a bad little return. Nice field position. Yeah, you can't complain about that. And there's a flag down, and we may have Westwood offsides on this one, which Foxborough would have the option of adding five yards or having a re-kick. That's exactly what it is, and they are going to take the five yards, I think. Five yards would give Foxborough first down at their own 43. Jack said take the five. Absolutely. Why would you risk a turnover on a kickoff? So you see a nice job here by Ryan. This is a hard kick ball. Look at that, just like a shortstop. And makes a good move right there. Legitimate, and Foxborough will set up uh, first down at their own 43. And we're going to see Keon Neal bounce it through the middle. And he gets about five. 
Yeah, we didn't see too much of him in the first half, uh, mostly uh, Ronnie Martin, but uh, Neil, who had a tough game last last uh, week uh, on, a, on a very wet field, couldn't get much going. Hopefully uh, hopefully tonight, uh, especially in the second half, we're gonna see some uh, explosiveness out of him. Yeah. He certainly scored the touchdown that uh, tied us up here with, with a great burst of speed, so we know it's there. Yeah, it's certainly, and if he gets his traction, uh, he is deadly. Uh, but Martin was the workhorse, and now we're going to see Neil again, and he's going to get outside, and there you go. As you're saying, there it is, Frank. He's finding some footing, and in that case, he found another crease. On cue. Yep. First Makes you look like a genius there, Frank. Yeah. Right here. Well, we know that's not true. Here we go. Slips. Nice, nice move. Yeah, right nice. there. He, Hanley missed the tackle. First half, he, he was making plays like that. And uh, big gain, about 20 yards. Uh, Keon Neal now takes it into Westwood territory on their 36-yard line. Maybe, Doug, we should just stay on the ground and pound him. Yeah. If the traction's here, we're going to see Neal once again. He's got Dantone out in front of him. And uh, there you go. Delaney, 53, once again, is involved in that tackle as well as uh, Verzino, 54. But not until Neal picks up four yards. So it'll be a second and six. It's a little quick pitch. So a good start to the second half for Foxborough. And Martin is the lone back. Neil has moved up to a slot position. Now we're going to see Martin go off tackle. And he basically tries to run over. Number, number, eight, eight, number 18. He tried to run over Albert, but yeah. Albert would have none of that and uh, stops Ronnie after about a four-yard gain. We, might, we made some comments in the first half about these defensive backs for uh, Westwood. Very good tacklers. Yeah. That's a nice tackle right there. That's a tough kid we're talking about, Ronnie Martin. Yeah, he is. Into that kid. So you got to give credit to Albert there because Ronnie is a punishing runner, and he always lowers the shoulder to his uh, opponent. So he did get close enough to get Foxborough short situation, third and one, ball to 27. And we're going to see a handoff to Neil, and Neil's going to spin into nothing. He's going to lose. Uh, he was spinning before he even got yeah, hit. Yeah, just uh, that's uh, that's odd. It's really odd. He, it's stupid, is what it is. Yeah. I think. I mean, you you run, yeah. run hard, yeah. run hard. You don't spin You'll see before right you here. get hit. It's like he's already yeah, in the spin. spin move right there, and he basically gains nothing. So it's uh, not a loss on the play, but certainly not a gain. So now we're at a fourth and one. And uh, I don't know, well, Foxborough may end up calling a timeout here. Spend a lot of time on his sideline. And I don't think you want to waste him in this kind of game. But I think that's what they're going to have to do. Uh, waste, uh, Heinricher's in there talking as well. And, Maybe they're waiting for somebody to get a gear or adjustment or something, but uh, they're going to end up calling a timeout. Yeah, they do. Not sure what was going on there. I mean, coaches were looking to the sideline as well, like they're waiting for somebody, but unless they're trying to get a call from upstairs above us, they're still looking. Oh, yeah, they're waiting for a lineman. There it is. Was that Fisher, I believe? Mm -hmm. Doug Fisher, 78. Muzanitas is coming back in. Liam Whiting's coming out. Now, that looks like they're going jumbo package, Frank. Well, when we got fourth and one. This is a crucial play right here. I mean, they're going to load up the middle. Westwood's going to load up the middle, and this could uh, this could be a touchdown run right here, Doug. Just in a just. A Fisher's break. actually checking in as a tight end. We're going double double to the side. We got an overload to the near sideline. Yep. And, oh, man, he just gets there. Westwood submarines that thing. Delaney. Neil, Neil goes first airborne first. to get that first down. Wow. Well, wow. See, if I'm a college coach, I don't, like the, I don't like the diving over the piles, and I don't like spinning before I get hit. Run to the hole. Go to the hole. Hit the hole hard. I don't mean to be critical of the young man, but there's some certain things you got to do. So Foxborough uh, picks up another first down. Clock is running again, 7.20 remaining in the third quarter. 
7-7 is the score. And we're going to see three receivers, the trips to the near side, and we're going to see the toss to Martin. And he's got nothing out there as once again, Westwood does a really good job there. That was uh, 21 Kritzer. and 24. Kritzer in, uh, <coughs> and Hanley. Hanley. Yeah, Hanley's been act active both sides of the ball all game. Yep. Oh, they picked up three. They picked up three anyway. He got three more than I thought he got, to tell you the truth. Look at him run, though. Look at him run. Bing! Oh! See, he got the yardage because he... He rode, he rode over on the uh, the tackler. Ronnie never gave up on that play, but Westwood closed real fast as they have been all game long. And now Foxborough is facing a second and six. Ball on the 21. And what are we gonna have, another timeout? Yes, we yeah, are. Another That's timeout, two. Foxborough. Two out of five. For those that are watching this on Monday night, this game started at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday afternoon as opposed to when it was supposed to start at 7 o'clock at night. And I think it was a good move on their part to do this, Doug. Yeah, it may, it may actually have worked out because we avoided um, some of the rain. Earlier today we had a, a good down, downpour, but we've got a pocket right now that's worked out for this game, and uh, here we go. We're gonna see Austin Ryan with the fake jet, and he's up the sideline. Again, Rogers is gonna go deep the other way. There's all kinds of contact back there. Wow, that, we were lucky that didn't get picked off. I, I, I'm following Austin Ryan here on this jet fake, and he goes up the sideline on a wheel route. Basically nobody around him. Mike, Mike Bordieri is wailing his arms uh, uh, as, as, as if to say, what are we doing here? We got people open. Yeah. I mean, he's throwing into traffic here. There's a little hand-to-hand -hand combat, no doubt. But Dennis almost gets picked off exactly. on the tip. Exactly. Exactly. In the meantime, like I said, up the opposite sideline, Austin Ryan basically is wide open. Wide open because nobody followed him through. Once, once the fake handoff took place, nobody cared. So third and six, ball in the 21 still. Everybody spread, nobody in the backfield. Look and at he's got, he got Martin in the middle. Oh, that was tipped. Nice yeah. play by uh, uh, Patterson. Yeah, and again, now Martin's down in the middle of the field, raising his hands over his head. You know, we got to look around. You, you got to look around here. You can't just look at one receiver. He never <clears throat> Nolan Rogers has had a great year, but you'll see Martin. Look, there's Martin look at right him. there. He's going wide open in the middle oh, of the field please. there. And again, I, I think Rogers had radar lock on his intended receiver yeah, and never, never checked off. So fourth down and six, Foxborough moving the ball well until the last three plays, which they've stalled out now. Uh, maybe a field goal would be, huh? Will's got the leg, but we're gonna see here, Neo in motion, and he's Neil's, gonna go up the sidelines, yeah. and now we got a middle screen. Uh, I don't think he made that, Doug. I don't he, think yeah, he made Yeah, he's gonna be real close. He had to break the line, and I think they're marking him on the line. Yeah, I think yeah, he's shy. Westwood, Westwood stopped him. Not a bad call <laughs> here, but the right call. He is shy. He is shy, so Foxborough wastes a great opportunity on their opening drive. That's a huge stop by Westwood right there. Huge stop. And once again, I, the, the guy coming in motion is wide open in, in my eyes. And that was Neil. So Foxborough has to make a stop here. And we're going to see. Oh, Bob oh. Hood. Robert Hood. Yeah. Just stuffed the hole. Stuffed the hole. He just ran over number 51 yeah. again. Yeah, again, Colin Tony. Yeah. Let's take a peek at that one, Michael, if we could. Take a look at our defensive tackle, number 79, Bob Hood, on this play. That, guy, that was very nope. disruptive. All no, right. No uh, look on that one. Uh, All right, here, here we go. go. Back to action. Second and 12, loss of two. Patterson back. And we're going to see motion. And this is Hanley on the jet sweep. And looks like maybe Dave Henry. Close on him, forces him out of bounds. He and seven. Yep, that's uh, Tommy Rogers. So he gets back two plus two more. So be a third down and eight. Ball on the 14 yard line. 524 remaining in the third quarter. Clock stopped on the out of bounds play. 
Ball actually on a 16, check that. Third down and eight. And a nice angle right there. We we're right down at the ground level. And again, we're gonna see motion. And we're well, we got I think we got offensive motion. Too many guys in motion. Leonard was the man in motion, and somebody else had a move. Two guys cannot be in motion at the same time, so. This is Leonard, and then there's the back. Yeah, he did, just by hair, it looked like he started to come out of his uh, stance back there. So Foxborough takes advantage of that, moves the ball back five. So bring up a third and 13, now back at the 12-yard line. Need to make the stop here and force that punt. Here's a tough call right here. Third and 13. And Patterson is throwing, and he's got a seam. Oh, he's right wide open, this. wide open, wide Hand, open. Again, that's Hanley. That's Hanley. Hanley's their playmaker, obviously, and they, he's the go-to guy. Watch this slant. This, this, wide, wide open this in the should, center this of the should, field. This should not happen. <laughs> yep. This should, actually should not happen. But how does he get behind you? Henry, Henry makes the tackle, but not until he picks up uh, 20. Almost 30 yards. Yeah. They were at the 12, they're out to 40 now. So first down Westwood, big third down conversion there. And we're gonna see Patterson keep it once again. And here he goes. Wow. And he's gonna go for about 30 yards there too. Holy cow, back to back 30 oh, yards, Doug. <laughs> and again, that's that right tackle Run, even though it's a keeper, he's going right off his right tackle. Just straight up blocking, that's all yeah, it is. There's no pulling, no uh, no angles, everybody just gets a guy and pushes. Yeah, real, really, really poor effort on the Foxborough line there. He had absolutely zero penetration and the backers were nowhere to be found. So back to back 30 yard gains. And Westwood now in Foxborough territory at the 31. Riding the hot hand here, Patterson getting confident. And Antonucci moves up to his right. He's and going, again, going again, off right tackle. He's got another five or six. Yeah, time to, to make an forward. adjustment. We <laughs> saw this all Turn last week, Patterson. and we saw it to start the game here. Well, Jack adjusted by putting uh, Uzanitas in there, right. a defensive uh, left tackle. Uh, and I don't see him in there now, Doug. No, you? he's not. You, know. you need that lateral movement, Frank, yep. as we mentioned in the first half. This is exactly what happened last week. Exactly like what happened. Second and about four, actually. A good gain again by Patterson. You got to know they got to do it again. And there he goes once He's again. Do he it again. Turns it out to the outside. He's going to be shy of the first down. Downs on the tackle. So it'll bring up a third and short. But again, they're attacking that left side of the Foxborough defense. Oh, there comes a flag. Somebody said something. I think what, the, on I the think, green, on uh, yeah, that'd be a. I think bad, this is on the bench. I think this yeah. is on the Westwood bench. Maybe they're thinking it's a late hit or something. <laughs> I don't know. No, man, it's again. Is it? Yeah, it's against Westwood. Wow. I'm not sure why anybody over there had anything to complain about. Well, I about. saw Bill Barrar. He's, he's pointing. He was pointing at the bench. Really, no reason to complain. I'd see no late hit or anything. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but. Uh, well, it'll be a third down situation because I believe that was a dead ball foul. It was. And instead of being third and short, now it's going to be third and about eight. Interesting, though, only a five-yard penalty. Yeah, it's not a personal foul. I don't know what that is. What the heck kind of penalty is that? Especially where they lost the down. Patterson back to pass. Develos hits him. Oh boy, there's a, oh boy. Uh, nope, wow. actually, well, there's a lot of bump in here, but yeah. Buckner, Buckner uh, got himself turned around in time, huh? He did, let's let's take a look at that one, Michael, if we could. Let's, uh, at the end of this play, I'm, it I'm looks thinking, like. I'm, I'm thinking pass interference almost. Yeah, it, 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 looked, uh, it looked like it was, yeah. There's a little yeah. contact, but again, Buckner hits him in the helmet. He, had, he was looking back at the ball, that's all he could ask for. Yep. 
So yeah. Westwood now on a fourth and long. Develos was in on that last one for the first time today. I actually saw some pressure out of him. He got himself free. And we're going to see the motion again. And we're going to see the play action pass. And right down the middle of the field, Antonucci has got six. six. Oh, boy. Wonderful pass blocking. Patterson just stood up there. Yeah. Like a statue and fired a P right to, right to uh, Antonucci, right on his hands. Yeah. Well designed, well executed. In, in, in Foxborough's pass, secondary gets torched right there on a fourth and long. Uh, you can't blame all of them. You can't blame all of it on them, Doug, because no. there was no pass rush at all. Yeah. <clears throat> so Foxborough falls behind again, 257 remaining in the third quarter. It's now 13 7 Westwood. Extra point attempt coming. Bean lining it up. For the Wolverines, oh Bad boy, there's another snap. And Foxborough oh could pick this up. Well, they could have picked it up and returned it, but it's oh. dead, so that's important. It's important if we score Huge. because we have Kyle Will, obviously, could, could give Foxborough a lead with an extra point. Let's take a look at the pass right here. Take a look at Patterson's protection. You're right, look at it, no all time in the world. Right on the screws right and there. And it gets behind the secondary. That's, Couple times that they've been behind us, and that that time they connected, but didn't even look like they were close to them. Nah, not even really. That just you know, just doesn't doesn't fit well. It sh it shouldn't happen like that. You know, you know that it's a pass down. Uh, you know, and and to let a guy get free down the middle of the field like that, it's just that's not good. So Westwood uh, takes the lead. They missed the extra point on a bad snap. And uh, Beam will tee it up, and uh, we'll hopefully keep, Foxville can come back from that. Yeah, we'll keep that in mind. That not only was that that was a bad snap on that point, which is crucial, mm. but they had a bad snap on the punt, which led to Foxville's touchdown. Yeah, a, a, a great drive by Westwood as they go like 90 yards. And we're gonna see the squib kick again. We're gonna see oh how boy. this one gets by Ryan this time, <clears throat> and. He's going to get trapped in there and nothing really. He gains a couple yards after he picks up the ball, but really nothing. McCarron on the tackle for Westwood. So Foxborough with 2.48 remaining in the third quarter will take over somewhere around their 20 yard line. It looks like maybe the 22. Long field ahead of him. And again, their first drive, they moved the ball very well until they stalled out with the passing. They were running very well. Neil. There comes Neil again. He's going to have to rely on his own thing. He got no look, block in there. Look at it. Look at Hanley again. Hanley in 54. Delaney. Hanley and Delaney. Oh, yeah, Delaney. Oh, actually, Delaney's 53. That's Verzino, 54. Yep. Yep. This kid, Hanley's played a heck of a game. Yeah, he's got right there. Neil's got nobody out there blocking for him, and uh, he has to rely on his own ability. And it's tough when you got two defenders ready to break down. Sure. So, one yard gain. Foxborough second and nine. Martin is the lone back. Neil's in the slot, and we're going to see a pass out into the flat. And Neil's going to get lit up. The vault Rogers hung him out there. Is uh, Albert laid a lick on Keon Neal just as he was trying to grab that ball? It just, it just looks like Nolan Rogers is a half a step behind tonight, Dougie. I, I'm, you know, just I mean, he's, he's got the arm. He's the direction is just a little off. Yeah, that, it, his grip on that ball didn't even look like yeah, just look the way like he it pushed it. Out, like he pushed it his right. Well, I may be wet. You know, I, yeah. I don't want to make excuses. We got a, for we got a couple things, but yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, Nolan's not as sharp as he has been. And uh, we're not executing, period, right now. And we're going to have a timeout Westwood. We're which just not executing. Which is number three for them, I think, already. We've got two minutes and five seconds left in the third period. 13 to seven Westwood. Foxborough looks very, very flat. Yeah. And, and the way this uh, playoff format works, we this is our first venture into it. 
Last year we didn't qualify as uh, Foxborough wins. They advanced to the next round, which, like we mentioned earlier, Holliston would be the opponent, the number one seed in uh, Division Four South. But uh, should Foxborough lose, unlike years past in the playoff where your season was over, you now fall into a loser's bracket tournament. And, uh, you know, they'll finish out the season end with a couple other games before they meet with Mansfield. So Rogers going back to pass, and this ball is well overthrown. Gilry, um, a lot of frustration here on, on some of the Warriors. We're yeah. just, we're not clicking right now. We are just not clicking, and McCarthy will be coming in. I'm very impressed with this Westwood defense. I know I've said it three or four times already, but they're, look at, yeah. I mean, they're right with Gilry. Yeah. Right the there. He's right with them. Great coverage there by uh, Kritzer and, uh, you know, Foxwell gets stopped on three, to, and, and uh, we're going to see McCarthy punting. Antonucci's the lone back deep for Westwood. Good snap. And a good knuckleball kick again by McCarthy with a great roll, really good roll. Well, I guess so. That, ball, that ball's down to the 19-yard line. Or uh, is it 19? Uh, right no, 23. So we were at our we were at our 21. So you figure that's uh, 29 and 27. It, it's a it's a 50 uh, 29, 27, 56-yard punt by McCarthy. Yep. So. Just what uh, we needed to do uh, to hopefully get the defense pumped up here is pin Westwood down further in their territory. 148 in the third. And once again, Patterson uh, back is the quarterback. Let's see if they use the left side of our line again. And which, they do. Which they do. And he's going to keep it. This time, better job. Looks like Whiting might have. Robert Hood there, too. Oh, Might have been Hood on the tackle, actually. So one of the few times we've actually stopped that play for a short game. It was Whiting in there. I thought I saw 52, but Hood I saw too. So we have a second and eight. Nobody in the backfield. We can empty backfield. We got three receivers to one side, two to the other. And we're going to get the quick out over here. And, uh, this time, Hanley can't keep the handle. Pawn hits him just after he drops it. But he had space. He had space yeah, again. Yeah, he did. He did. Chris Hanley, incomplete. Third down and eight. So third and eight, ball in the 24. Once again, the wind's picking up, and Westwood is throwing into the wind. And we're going to see full play action. Patterson oh, losing footing, him. and basically good rush by Brian DeVellis and uh, forces a bad low throw that was incomplete. And the Warrior defense uh, rises the occasion and forces a Westwood punt here. Talk about dangerous. This is going to be a dangerous snap right yeah. here. He's, uh, he's kicking into the wind, and he got the mist blowing in his face. Yeah. If I'm Foxborough, I'm actually coming at him a little oh, bit here. Right? Absolutely. Look at the, look at this rain coming down sideways. Yeah, sideways. Yep. Bad oh, snap boy, again. It's high. Man. We got motion, I think. We got, oh, this is going to back them up. It is. It's motion on Westwood. Wow. Bean, Bean was thinking, like, I'm glad I got this thing. I can get it out of here. <laughs> and now he's got to do it again. Holy cow. How do you think the center feels? Uh, Bean's back there, Frank. I mean, oh, what, I know. What, he what, moved, what do you normally back, 12? Uh, yeah, he moved back to 15 yards. 15 You're right. yards, right? Yep. yep. He's in the end zone right now. Yep. His center's on, this, on, on uh, strength it, pills this, or this something. This could turn into a safety right here. Yeah, that's oh, that's got, his best that snap. One. Yeah, it is. It's his best snap, but not a great kick. And Foxborough. He got a good roll. He got a good roll, but Foxborough's going to have great field position about the 45 of Westwood. <laughs> so nice job by Bean to get that ball out of there. He finally got a snap he could work with. Wow. Yeah, wow's right. That center's probably giving a sigh of relief as well. 
Well, it would be nice if we could get something going in this period because we've got the wind and the rain in our back. We've got 46.8 seconds, but we're down by six right here. Yeah, the crowd, too, uh, we noticed at halftime, it's filled in a little bit more. People might have gone to their cars to warm up, but this is not a big crowd for a playoff game. No, not at all. It's a Saturday night, and, and uh, they changed the schedule. Yep. And so As Rogers rolling out, and he's got a wide open uh, Austin, Austin Ryan. Ryan. Yep. And he's tackled again by Hanley with a little help there from uh, Kritzer, but Austin Ryan picks up a first down, moves the stakes. Let's take a look at Ryan. He is. He's been open a few times. Boy, there wasn't anybody close yeah, to him. They found, somebody finally might have saw something. Because I, I, I've seen him open a couple times. I've seen Ronnie Martin open a couple times. And uh, if you're going to throw it, you want to throw it to the open guy. Sure. So we have Neil in, Martin in the backfield. We're going to get a toss to Neil. And he's got that seam again, but a nice tackle over 18 is uh, Alpert. And uh, he trips up Neil after about a five-yard gain. And uh, we're going we're gonna to end the quarter here. And now we've got the tough wind, and we've got the tough rain. That's a, Albert does a nice job. Austin Ryan was blocking him, and he, yep. he fought off Ryan's block and actually made the tackle. So Foxville's going to have to hustle if they want to get the snap off. They're not going to do it. They actually, they did. And we're going to see Neil. And we're, Keon Neal still on his feet, reaches ahead, and that will end the quarter, and, and he actually has a first down. So yep. yep. So it was Fox, actually a smart move getting it off. <laughs> so Foxborough is going to start the fourth quarter deep in Westwood territory, trailing by six. 11 minutes remaining, and the Warriors need to take advantage of this drive. I mean, they have to score and, you know, and again, get that extra point will be key. But Well, let's see. Uh, the, uh, the Westwood defense has bent, hasn't broken. Let's see if they can, uh, how they uh, tighten up their backs right here, Doug. Mm -hmm. Ball's going to be on the 20, is it going to be on the 25? I think we're actually ins inside that. Inside right? of that. Oh, yeah. We're inside oh, my. the 20. Well inside that. We're, we're, we're down 17. about 17. Yep. Now, I don't, I don't pass unless I got an absolute. No, not at all. Absolute good play that somebody's going to be open. Right now, I think you just got to pound. We this. haven't had a lot of success throwing a football too much tonight. No. It's wet, we've said that numerous times, and, and the wind is blowing into uh, Rogers' face right now. And we've got two pretty good running backs over there and a pretty good offensive line. Let's take advantage of it. Neil's in the slot right here, Ronnie Martin is spread out too. It looks like, oh, somebody, gonna somebody's gonna go in motion here. Yeah, there we Neil. go. He's gonna try and turn that corner. Nothing there. Westwood, really, really good job. Again, you see Albert, number 18 there. He gains a couple, but he had to labor for those couple yards. Delaney again. Part of the problem on running a jet sweep, I think, too, is if your back gets outside of your lineman before they have a chance to pull. That's a great point. You know, he, yep. you're relying on your back to do a lot of it on his own. He's he's quick, but he's not so quick that the yeah. uh, the spread off defense. Oh, here's a scissors play right here, Ronnie Martin on the uh, on the crisscross. Down by number two, Dave so a gain of another two yards. What are we, about third and six? Third and six, like at the 14 yard line and in, in, in the, the rain and wind is starting to pick up. We can see it in the lights. I mean, we, we haven't really gone long count even to try and draw Westwood off sides, anything right. like that. No, I mean, they look like they're pretty disciplined. Wow. Yeah. Not Rogers gonna try and take this himself, and he's oh, gonna get stuffed. Stuffed is right. Wow. He turned again. Wow. Yeah, Adams, Drew Adams three, a couple other Westwood guys right there, but 
Martin takes a hit, but look at Adams. Adams is not fold. Yeah, and again, Albert, 18, who's made quite a few tackles. So this is a big fourth down, although he's got nine minutes remaining in the game. This is a huge fourth down for Foxborough, trailing by six. Well, who are you looking for right here? I tell you, I, I really like the jet motion with the, that guy continuing on the pass. If nobody picks him up. I think you're going to see that, too. One of them's going in motion, and I think it's going to be uh, Keon Neal, and it is. Right here in the middle, Gilreath. Oh, he broke I, it up. Broke it up. Broke it up. Nice play by 24, Chris Hanley. Who's been in on all the big plays tonight? Yeah, he has. <laughs> and Fox, Foxborough comes away <clears throat> empty. That didn't look like it was a very good pass. Threw it right into, nah, right into actually, the coverage. He, he, Hanley uh -huh. beat Gilreath to the ball. Now, eight minutes and 28 seconds left in the ball game. This will be a heartbreaker if if, uh, if this uh, stays the same. So here we go. Westwood setting up deep in their territory. And we're going to try the off tackle play. And again, the footing, and there's the pitch. Oh, boy. Backwards what a dangerous, pitch. dangerous. Oh, that's even more dangerous going backwards. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not, not, a, not a wise move there by Cook. No, it wasn't advisable to even pitch that ball. It no. Look like take it up and just put it, put it up in the. Uh, You'll see on this, Patterson starts losing his footing right away, right, right there. Right. And now he pitches, and, and the ball almost gets by Cook. He's now lucky he <laughs> caught it. He's lucky he caught it. Holy cow. Man. Yeah, so Westwood loses about seven yards on that play, and they're back on their eight. And I don't think they're going to throw the ball now. Not unless they run that slant again. And we're going to see, was it Santanucci? Yeah. yeah. He picks up about yeah. three. Develos, Whitey. Oh, here we go. There we go. We got mouth going on. If that's Fox, bro, that's going to be a killer. Yep. That's against the Warriors, then, then they just and shot it, themselves in the foot. And it is because I think it's a personal foul, Doug. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You have gotta control your temper at that point in time, guys. You're gonna force a third and long situation. Now you're gonna give up a first down. Personal foul against the Warriors. Not sure who the guilty party is. Right here. Oh, he throws a punch. He's lucky he's still in the game. Yeah, it looks like Booth. You can't, yeah, you, you, oh, guys. That's a killer because it, that uh, that clock is running right now. It's under seven and a half minutes left in the game, and they're first and ten. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see motion. Motion by Hanley. Hanley's getting the ball. Jake Pond's out there. He got about two or three. Yeah, Jake whips him out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. God, it's oh. That was a heartbreaker. That right was there. because you're you're in a third and long situation deep in that territory, and we've already seen the bad snaps out of your your uh, long snapper for Westwood. Can't let the emotion get the best of you sometimes, kids. Easy enough for us to say, but you'll learn. So Westwood now coming down. We got 7.07 remaining in the game, second and a nine. And again, long count and handoff through the middle. And this is Antonucci. He found a hole. He, he got about five. Develops with the tackle. Just attack in the middle this time. Nice blocking right there by Westwood. They sealed off the D line, and Antonucci found that crease and picks up like five yards. I tell you, if if they make a first down here, we're going to start uh, we're going to start using up these timeouts. I've been thinking uh, he's going to save a couple for the end of the game, but uh, we got to stop the clock, especially if he gets a first down. If somebody's called Westwood. a timeout. Westwood's yeah. got a timeout going here. I think that's their fourth, Doug. <clears throat> well, they really don't need him as bad as we do, and they actually did us a favor by yeah, stopping that clock big, right there. Big favor right there. But they want to make sure they got the right play call because 
just as what you said there, Frank, if they pick up that first down, they know they're going to start forcing Foxborough either either to use theirs or they're going to burn the clock because they're going to take all 30 seconds between yeah. plays. In Foxborough, although they've moved the ball down the field, they've yet to really be consistent to punch it in. They stall. We get in the red zone. We've had trouble all day long. Well, you know, th that's the word, too, consistent. We haven't been consistent offensively all night long. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we have a couple of good plays, and then we have a couple of rotten plays. Yeah. And it's just, I, I don't know if it's the weather or whatever. It's just, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't look like we're prepared to play this time. No. So third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 31 of Westwood. Foxville's got to be careful of being drawn off sides right here. Huge play. And we're going to see a pass out of Patterson. And oh, he's got he, a first down. He got down. a first down. He stayed in bounds, too. Yeah, he found number 10 there. Uh, McDonald just slipping off the line. Just enough to pick up the first down. And that'll move the chains. Stop the Mike, clock can, for a can second. Can we see where he came from, Mike? Excuse me, Dougie. I'm sorry. He might have been like he might have been Let's, like the left the left end slot guy. I don't know, but he's wide open. Yeah, though. he just rolls off the line. Yep. So first down, Westwood. Keep the ball on the ground, boys. And here comes Hanley on the jet sweep. Oh, he's got oh, a oh boy. That was a nice block in the end there. And, yeah. uh, Jake Jake Pawn. Uh, yeah. Got got knocked on his uh, keister there. That doesn't happen too often. And again, you right there. Yeah, Jake Jake was kind of off balance when he took that shot, but uh, Hanley picks up uh, about a yard. Second and nine. Clock is coming down to five and a half minutes remaining. And uh, Westwood again taking as much time as possible between plays. He's killing the clock. Yeah, he is. And he's going to keep it and go off tackle and fight ahead for a couple. <laughs> Shows you the strength of him. Hood had him at the ankle. Well, he's a big kid, dog. He's 6'3", about, about 195 pounds. He's a big boy. Yeah. And he uh, gives himself a, a good opportunity here with a uh, shorter distance to go, a third and about five, long five. But again, they're they're working that clock for all they can get. And we're gonna see another timeout by Westwood. I think that's the end. I think that's their last one. Gotta be close. No, you can't take them home. No, and again, the Westwood coaching staff wants to make sure that they got things all set here because they know that first downs are are the key and, and keep keeps the Foxborough offense from chan uh, chance to score. Well, as you know, the offensive uh, coordinators over there are looking at the Foxborough defense too to make sure that they've got the right play called. Correct. Well, Foxborough doesn't uh, pull this one out. They're they're going to be very very depressed. I can tell you that much because they had a lot of faith in, in themselves this year coming into the season and. Right now, they're not playing the way we've seen them play. And we're going to see a rollout. And he's got oh, another first he got down. Another first dart. down. No, incomplete. Oh, he's West, out. Westwood is not going to be happy about this one. Look he was out of bounds. I think they said he was out of bounds. He was. I think you're right, Frank. He caught it, but he, he was it. out of bounds. Let's take a peek. You well, can actually hear the thud. Yeah. This is a dart. He made the catch. His knee. Knee's probably on the line. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. It this really is. Right, they're the referees. They've got the better angle. That's probably the best ball that we've seen him throw going to his left. You're so right. You're right. When he finally had to, Patterson throws a dart, but unfortunately, the receiver's out of bounds. Well, there's plenty of time left. Four and a half minutes. Another decent snap this time, and high kick. And it's going to roll out of bounds uh, right around the 33-yard line of Foxborough. So we got 424 to go in the game with four timeouts, I think. Yeah, four, three at the worst case, but we, we've got to move the ball. We cannot sit here. Now's not the time to grind either. 
you don't want to abandon the run, but you, you can't sit there and say, I'm going to grind this thing all the way. Time to sharpen up. And uh, the, line, the line has got to block. If they're going to pass, they've got to give Rodgers a little time, and he's got to find those open receivers. Westwood's thinking they just can't give up the big play. True. They'll bend, like you said. Oh, we got equipment problem with the chains over there. All right, Rogers takes a snap, and he's going to throw a screen pass to Martin, and Martin's got some room. He's oh, got a face there's mask a flag. Right there. There's a flag. I yeah. think there's a block in the back, though. Probably. Ronnie with Martin actually got face masks at the end of that thing too, but I think you're right. This is going to go against Foxborough. Yeah. I I couldn't see the number, but I he blocked them in the back, I think. 73. Yep. You can see right at the end here. Watch Ronnie Martin gets face masked. Oh yeah. This is missed. And now we're going to see the block in the back. No, nah, it wasn't yeah. Booth. They got the wrong guy. This is Booth here downfield. Yeah. It's actually not a bad call. Uh, that was a good call. <laughs> yeah, we, we're hearing a lot of yelling by coaches, but that was a good call. Booth got pinned with it, but it wasn't Booth. And we're going to see a draw play to Martin. A little sloppy handoff there. <clears throat> and he picked up about four. Four minutes left in the game yeah. right here. We're taking our time. I'm telling you, it's almost like we should have two plays called. I, I, I agree with you. What are we, what are we, why are we going so slowly here? You, you know, not only that, you, you got Rodgers, you got Rodgers coming to the sideline to get his plays. So send somebody in. Alternate your receivers or, or something. Or have, have a board. Remember yeah. the board yeah, we I saw? Yeah, I know. Again, a little snap. Ro uh, Ronnie Martin's going to break this one. He's going to break it. He's, gonna, well, he's, he's, get, caught. he's caught. And 18, Albert makes the tackles. Touchdown saving tackle. But Ronnie Martin rips off about a 30 yard run right there. Good blocking on that side. And you just, you see, Albert never gives up on the play. And Martin uh, with a big, big run to get Foxborough a much needed first down. The clock is moving again. We are on the 30 yard line of Westwood. And we're going to see Austin Ryan on the jet sweep. And he's going to get a couple. Hold on to the ball. Again, guys, get your plays, get them moving in, get them going. Second down six. Again, I just, I just, your line, he, he actually picked up about five, but your line doesn't get out there fast enough to help you. You're relying on your receivers a lot of times to make that block. And Westwood's deep backs have been making tackles all day. So there's a little handoff again to Martin. He breaks a tackle, gets about two yards after the contact. Tackle by 18 again, Doug. He's been, he's been in a few, yeah. few plays. Uh, what's his name? Albert. Albert, yeah. Yeah. So we got a third and like uh, four. Short four. Certainly four down territory. We're coming down on two minutes to go. Neil. Neil. Yep. There he goes. Hold on that ball. He's down at the five yard line. Really nice run by Keon Neal. That was a nice run, yeah. Got some good blocking, but Keon Neal showed he has vision right there. Got Ronnie Martin out there in front of him. It almost looked like he lost his footing for a second, but he's trying to cut back. Yeah, there's a timeout. We got 157 remaining, and, and now, now you do want to work that clock. Yeah, you do. You do. Yep. You don't want to give them any time after we score. So Keon Neal with 
with a big run after Ronnie Martin had a crucial run like two, three plays earlier. And Foxborough's in great field position at, at the Westwood goal. four, first and goal. Westwood has is, is got to be either out of timeouts or if they got one left, that's it. Because they used a, a boatload on their last drive. Ball's on the five, huh? There it is. Well, here's your season, guys. You got to finish strong right now. And we're going to see Neil. And he's going to get ahead for a couple. Westwood's trying to reach in there and strip. I think they're on about the two. We're going to see a quick look here. Again, Foxville going to no rush here because we'll burn some clock. Yeah, Elbert is blowing that pile again. That young man, him, Hanley, I mean, yeah, Hanley, certainly the, the Delaney kid. There we go. Roger's going to keep it. I think he's short. I think he's short. Don't worry. Hey, it's all right. It's all right, guys. You got third yeah, down. You got plenty of time. The clock has stopped for some reason. It's an official's timeout. They're going to call for. They're going to oh, call for a measurement. Oh, no, Westwood. Westwood. They had one left. Boy, oh boy. Did they get six? Yeah. Number two, Nolan Rogers. Nolan Rogers calling his own number right there. Certainly got close enough to smell that end zone. Ball appears to be inside the one yard line. Third down for the Warriors. The, your line. Who do you, you run? Who do you run behind? I, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right behind Liam, and I'm gonna run run the ball with Martin. All right, Let this, him dig this him is Neil. Out. This is Neil on the play before. Yep. And he gets down to the two. All right. And the last play was Rogers on the keeper. And yet that ball doesn't get any closer, folks. I mean, yeah. Right up Uzanidis right here on the right, on the right tackle. Rogers is going up underneath center, which is very unusual. Did they give it to him? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Taking a while for them to make a decision there. Wow. Wow. So we are tied at 13 with a minute and seven remaining. Actually, we're not. Yeah, we are tied at 13. Scoreboard's not accurate. Kyle Will has a chance to give Foxborough the lead for the first time in this game. Get us to the next round. Buzniak's the holder. Got a good snap. And we got the lead. So miraculously, Foxborough somehow found a way to get themselves in a, a position to win this game. Two big plays. Two big, two big plays. Let's take a look at Nolan Rogers. I don't know why they delayed so long in making this call. Rogers got over. The Phil, umpire Phil could have made the call right. easy. I mean, this is. The one thing people at home, he's, he's here at the bottom of the pile. One thing people at home got to uh, understand, too, Nolan Rogers is probably taking a good snap. And also now you put your hands underneath your center's rear end. It's a different feeling for everybody. Sure it is. And, and, and you know what? Sometimes you don't handle it cleanly, but that's the play I like when you're down that close. To me, it's the safest play in football. Yep. So Will will tee it up. He's kicking into a wind. But we've seen his leg, and right now we need one. Ah, oh, fell off the tee again. We need one of Kyle Will's boomers right now with a minute and seven to go. Fox for holding on to the slimmest of all leads of one point. We're going to get a squibber. And it looks like Antonucci, and he's got Albert in front of him. Ball. 
Oh, they got a pretty good return, about the 37. Yeah, they're out just shy of the, their own 40. And we got 57 seconds left, but Westwood should be out of timeouts. It's unfortunate there that the wind was knocking the ball off the tee because I, I think Kyle having somebody hold it, he couldn't get the regular booty he would uh, like to have had. Yeah, that's a good point. So Foxborough, if anything, I'm, I'm watching Hanley on this slant. All right, you need the pressure. There you go, big hit. Incomplete pass. Boy, was that a big hit over there. That was a nice Jake Pawn. Wow. He wow. Felt, he felt that. He sure did. Antonucci was the intended receiver. Boom. It was an incomplete pass. Yeah, he didn't have it. He never had it, but boy, did Jake Pawn lay a wallop on him. Yeah, he did. Now the crowd's come to life. Defense! 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 And again, pressure. You need you need to get you need to get to Patterson. And we're gonna see it up the middle. Oh! And again, the number 10 is down for Westwood. Unfortunately, that young man got, got hung hit, out. He got hit in the head. Yeah, he did. I think he That's got McDonald. An, I, I think he got a knee in the head, Doug. That's McDonald. Uh, the ball was up high. Oh, I hope he's all right. Yeah, look at this. He just, oh, helmet oh, to helmet. helmet. Oh, yeah, that's a shot. Dave Henry. Put the wood on him. Yeah, he did. Westwood, Westwood uh, you know, Westwood uh, certainly uh, doesn't want to lose any of their players. This kid uh, took a serious shot right there. I don't think I've ever heard this place this quiet either. Boy, you're right. I'm afraid to talk. I think uh, we can't see it from here, but apparently the young man's getting up to come off the field. Uh, Jack Marnelli you see out there, uh, obviously coach, very concerned as well, never wants to see any player hurt. He staggered that yeah, young he man. Is, uh, uh, you know, the, again, the player is uh, Ryan McDonald, and uh, you know he he basically was stre stretched out. He was just a big target there, and Dave Henry was closing fast, and uh, you know certainly unintentional. But uh, you you did see a little helmet to helmet contact. Um, you know this is what people worry about. Sure. So once they get McDonald off the field, we certainly wish him the best. Uh, Westwood will have a third and, and 10 situation from their own 37 yard line. I think it's second, Doug. You know, you're right, it is. They just turned it yep. into three. So, again, we got Hanley down here close to us. Um, he's the guy I'm, I'm looking for. Again, Foxville needs to put some pressure on. And we got the middle of the field, and we got a pick off. And if Jake Pond just goes down, the game's over. There you go. Nice drop in the coverage by Jake Pond. Made two great plays on that series. Yeah, Jake he Pond. did. So Foxborough takes a knee, and this contest is over. But what a play by Jake Pond. Wow. And this is this is a kid who was aligned in most most of his Pop Warner career. So look at this drop back into coverage. Boy, did he look natural right there. And he does the right thing. Just get out of bounds. Yeah. Don't want to turn it back over. So 
One knee should do it for the Warriors, and uh, boy, did they have their hands full in this game. They sure did. This, this Westwood team came to play tonight, Doug. So you see victory formation now. And there you go. Yeah. We're going to Halston. We're going to Halston. I'm not sure if Cave Waits going to Halston, but we're going to Halston. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, now they're working on it. Uh, I got I got dollars to donuts say we're going to Halston. I think we're going. <laughs> I tell you what though, um, man, uh, not the best played football game I've seen, but it was a tough one. And uh, yeah, in it, reality, it's a shame that Westwood walks out of here uh, the loser because. They did everything they had to do to win the game. Yeah, they played very, very well, very well. Uh, the Warriors somehow managed to scrap together when, when, when uh, time was running out, put together a drive, and two big runs. Ronnie Martin has a big 30-yard run, and then Keon Neal has a big run. And, uh, you know, for the first time today, we were able to finish something off inside the 10-yard line. Exactly. So a well-played uh, physical football game both sides, Westwood's defense rose to the occasion. Uh, certainly not a, a, a replay of week one, and uh, it's a shame that they're out. Uh, they'll continue to play in the uh, consolation bracket, but Foxboro moves on to uh, Holliston next week, and we're going to have to tighten up our game if we're going to yeah, be Holliston. Yeah, oh, Holliston, Holliston is one of the best teams in the state. There's no question about it. Yeah. Uh, and another undefeated team. We've got to play another undefeated team. Yeah. We've lost to two undefeated teams, but we're going to play a third one, and this one might be the best one. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. And uh, for those of you at home, um, you know, hopefully those of you who are listening, uh, we gave you a good broadcast. Uh, those of you who will watch the game on replay, um, you, you saw, you'll, you'll see a good game. You'll see a, a decent battle between two hard, evenly matched teams. And uh, we want to thank the uh, crew, our crew, who came out in this bad weather uh, set up. Uh, scrambled at the last second because the game got moved up. And, um, you know, enough of me. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time, hopefully from Halston. Absolutely. Thanks, guys.